pushing all along. Give us what I long and long. Without a clue, without a sign. So hey, guess what? Smash Bros got Joker as a guest character! So of course I'm gonna do a video of uh, my playthrough as Joker. Now keep this in mind, I did this video whenever Joker initially came out, so I'm not as skilled with him here as I am currently. But you know, it's Joker's a pretty cool character to play. And all the stages are... All of uh, Joker's stages are kind of references to previous games. Like, I guess Mr. Game & Watch is a reference to Shadows. But anyway, here's how Joker plays. He uses a knife and a gun. And the, the gun is just his standard B attack. It's pretty cool. Joker's really fast. I, I like how, uh... I like how dexterous he is. Oh, and of course, if he takes enough damage or if you use his down B, which is called Rebel's Guard, he basically is able to summon Arsene, which is like a freaking stand from JoJo. In that it... It really just buffs up all his moves. All of his B moves and all of his smash attacks. Yeah, Joker's really cool. His stages are cool. Joker in general is just cool. I mean, I, I should... I mean, that shouldn't be that much of a surprise. Because, you know, Persona 5 is a great game. Alright, so now it's time to fight Shadow Kirby. But hey! It's kind of reflecting Persona 5 because, hey, now Mr. Game & Watch is one of our friends. So that's cool. It's like he's one of the Personas that we uh, that we obtain. And the Velvet Room theme is a lot more upbeat in Smash Bros. But then again, Beneath the Mask, which is a very calm and relaxing song, actually got sped up into a more jazzy tune as well. So more than a few songs from Persona 5 just got like a really up, more upbeat version of themselves. And now they're pulling out the dark characters. This isn't Persona 4, it's Persona 5, you fool. Well, technically we're in Persona 3 right now. Because it's playing Mass Destruction. And Mementos is just a really cool stage that also changes depending on which Persona song you play. 
Actually, I played a few rounds of Smash with some friends, and Mementos came up a bunch. And also, I managed to get some practice in with Joker. This happened after I made this video. But yeah, no, it's... It's pretty cool. I really like Joker as a character in Smash Bros. He's very fun to play as. And it, you know what? You know, Xander Mobus is a really talented voice actor. Not only as the announcer for Smash, but as Joker. So, but I'm happy that he gets to play a playable kit. But I'm happy that he's a playable character now. I really like a, I really like Xander Mobus's performance. He's he's a pretty darn good voice actor. You know? Ready? In this, Hunter Hunter, uh, Disgaea 5. The guy is, the guy is good. He's good. I mean, obviously. I like how they're playing beneath the mask when you're fighting Meta Knight. <laughs> Keep in mind, I am not a master of Smash Bros. Uh, by any means. I'm, I'm okay. I usually just abuse the hell out of items. <laughs> I'm. Then again, my mains for Smash Bros. are kind of all over the place, like Ike, Snake. Yeah, a lot of the sword characters I play, and now Joker is one of my mains. I love him, he's great. This was... Honestly, Joker being a playable character in Smash Bros., I... I didn't see it coming. Eh, <laughs> because of the... Cause, anyway. Yeah, this is the... I mean, it never was not in the cards, because Persona Q somehow managed to cement the deal for Persona 5 for Joker being a character in Smash Bros. And they also have Narakami's co- and they also have like a me costume for Narakami and the Persona 3 protagonist. As well as one for Teddy and Morgana. What, no love for Koromaru? It's bullshit. Anyway. Yeah, no, it, it, I was super stoked whenever I heard that Joker was going to be playable in Smash Bros. Oh, it was awesome. And now it, it it fills me with... It makes me really hopeful for what the other DLC characters in the Fighter's Pass will be. But I'm also a bit nervous. Now, hopefully it'll be something relatively, you know, not terrible. Like a Minecraft character or a Fortnite character. Hopefully it'll be someone like, I don't know... Gino, probably not. Banjo, probably not. Erdrick from Dragon Quest, I think was a leaked name. So that might be cool. Another sword character. Not like we have too many of those. Um, I don't know. Why not throw in like Neku from The World Ends With You or I'm trying to think of what would be a cool Nintendo character to throw in. Oh, you know what? Freaking G-Red from Gotcha Force. Yeah, there's an old classic. <laughs> G-Red would be cool. <laughs> Him and his terrible voice acting. Uh, that was a long time ago when I did that playthrough. Um, let's see. Oh! No, I know who needs to be in Smash Bros. Freaking Wonder Red. Wonder Red needs to be in Smash Bros. And it's bullshit that he's not. In fact... I'm gonna get on a soapbox here for a quick minute. I know this is Joker's show, but I'm gonna get on a soapbox very quick. Okay, in Smash Bros. Ultimate, there are spirits, right? And, you know, hey, guess what? Wonder Red and Wonder Blue are spirits. But they're not really high rank spirits, even though they have the song from Wonderful 101 to play. Freaking, uh... Even though I have one of the songs from Wonderful 101 playing in the background, I think it's uh, Table's Turn. They don't have any other things. I mean, I guess just the song is fine. But still. Come on. Throw in Wonder Red. Wonder Red is cool. God, I want Wonderful 101 on the Switch. Uh, anyway. Enough of that. That's, that's my own personal thing. Um... But no, yeah, Joker's really cool. I obviously haven't been talking terribly much about his fighting. Uh, I haven't been talking all that much about his playstyle, but it's kind of self it's kind of self evident. Joker's a fast character. He's really fast. His up B is a grappling hook, which is good for anti airs. It's not really good for like getting up close and personal, but it's also a decent. Me but it pretty much like anybody who's jumping, you can get them and you can just slam them down on the ground, which is pretty cool. And it also is a decent recovery move. Like, you can use it like Link's Hookshot and just grapple a wall and pick yourself back up. But besides that, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. 
Uh, and then, let's see. His B side move is Iha, which turns into Egon. I, he, he uses curse magic, which is pretty good. And also, there's like a video out there showing like everyone gets super pissed off when you use it on him. Because it's curse magic. It, it hurts. And Arsene buffs up everybody's moves. Like, Iha becomes the ultimate tier curse magic whenever uh, Arsene's out. Rebel's Guard becomes a counter, which is Makakarn and Tetrakarn. And uh, his up B becomes just using Arsene's wings to, to get back up as a, like an aerial move. It's not bad. It's pretty cool. And then, I don't show it here, but Joker's final smash is all-out attack, which is great. And it, and it changes up your team. It's never the same. You might get a different party, like, each time you use it. It's great. And as you might be noticing in Mementos, there are more than a few characters who we have not seen in my Persona 5 Let's Play. But then again, the game's been out for a few years. If you don't know who the whole team is, well, you're gonna get spoiled on this. Especially since Persona Q2 is a thing, and yeah, that reveals more than a few characters. But yeah, look, like Panther and uh, Skull, they're, they're hanging out, and Morgana's... And Morgana's part of Joker's taunt, so that's pretty cool. And there's some other characters that we haven't met yet, but we'll see them in, uh... But we'll see them soon enough in the Let's Play. Anyway, that's Joker's arcade mode. <laughs> Thank you, Morgana. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so that's Joker's arcade mode in a nutshell. It's not too bad. Like I said, Joker's a really cool character. Not my best work, but you know what? Not bad either. I'm not a Smash expert, by any means. But of course, the credits song... <laughs> but of course, the credits song is what you'd expect. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this song. Wake up, get out there. Oh. Obviously, this is the song that you play. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to whoever might be announced next. Hopefully it'll be someone cool. Maybe we'll see them at E3. Who knows? Oh, last thing. I didn't mention this in the Persona 5 Let's Play, but I'll go ahead and say it here. So the Nintendo game for Persona 5 is Persona 5 Strikers. Which is a Dynasty Warriors game. Okay. That's cool. That'll be cool. Uh, I, I love Hyrule Warriors. That game's great. So, Persona, a Persona version of that? Sure. Works for me. I hope you can play as more than just the Phantom Thieves. I hope you get to play as all the Persona characters or SMT characters. Because the Phantom Thieves, 
Like, if it's just the Phantom Thieves, that's a very small cast. Unless, of course, you're playing as, like, some of the villains. Or maybe they'll compensate and just give you, like, your wild card ability to, you know, use whatever demons you want. I don't know how they're gonna play it off. I assume it's gonna be, like, any other Dynasty Warriors game and social links and crap like that might be a factor here and there. But, I don't know. Hopefully they throw in, like, Narukami and the P4 cast and the P3 cast, etc, etc. That'd be neato. You know who hasn't gotten a lot of love? The Persona 1 and 2 cast. They've never once been in a fighting game or in PQ. Not once. It's kind of bullshit. Ah, well. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. Anyway, this was a nice little detour for for the Persona 5 Let's Play. Just a nice little outing for Joker. He went to Smash to steal the greatest treasure of them all. Yeah! <laughs> oh, Joker's the coolest. So cool. Woo! And you get a bunch of really cool stuff, like you get joke, like you get a unique spirit. Oh, look how cool that is! Ugh, and Gulliver too. Anyway. Oh. Anyway. Well, that'll do it for for this little detour. I guess we'll go back to the Persona 5 Let's Play now. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time. See ya. Oh, Joker's the best. Masquerade, hiding this place of mine, afraid for you to drive.